Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. And now, your New Hampshire Fisher Cats. So now, here is Dyron Blanco. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. One and two now as that one's fouled off. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. And another foul ball. Again, a one-two. Soft liner toward first. And that's the first down. And now in the box, Angelo Castigano. One out, nobody on. Castigano. And good patience Three to hold back ball. on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That oh. one wasn't oh. even close. Oh. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. That is her. Now to the plate, here is Bobby Witt Jr. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Lifted in the air to center. Brown is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now at the plate, here is Travis Jones. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Jones. The three one finds the zone to fill the count three and two. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Popped him up. Vigil is there. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. So now into the box is Riquelvin De Castro. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Drilled right back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. That is seven. The third base Four LG. So now to the plate, Orelvis Martinez. Oh, they have him one looking ball. awfully He's confused great. up there right now. It's one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Striding in good. is Nash Knight. bit outside two and one hey. two and two and a fastball blew it right by him and they're two down so the next to bat will be Will Robertson. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Now the one and one pitch. No. De Castro, runner at first with two gone. Skied into very shallow right. Matias is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So stepping in is Sully Matias, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. High in the air out towards shallow right. Robertson has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Nick Lofton. Nick Lofton. Fouled off. The one-two. 
Is a fastball oh, in off the plate for a ball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay. But he is in there with a triple. To the plate now. Nate Esposito. Got him swinging in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. And now here is Anderson Miller trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. The set and the 1 1. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a one nothing lead. The second baseman. Gabriel. Stepping in now, Gabriel Cancel. Nope, that's the way. Misses ball two. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Throw over to the bag. He beat it. A runner on first with two away. Hopped up. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Now that the center field. Blanco. At the plate now, Tyron Blanco. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Three and two now. And it's fouled away. Miller over at second. Cancel on at first with two down. And he fouls this one off. He set the payoff pitch. Another one sent foul. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Desan Brown. The 1-1. One -one. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Up next, Rodrigo Vigio. The catcher. Rodrigo Vigio. Now the three and two pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Hit in the air out to right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Digging in next, number 30. He's ready for his first AB here in this one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. There's a base hit on the line.
Batting eight, the second baseman, Esteban. Into the box, Esteban Machado. Two and one. A high, two and one now. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with Three the fastball. Forrest Wall would be next if they can keep this inning alive. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. A dive and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Angelo Castellano. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Vigio finds it. He'll throw down to first, one away. Now one down with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Bobby Witt Jr. Bases are empty, one man out. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The first Next to stand in ball. is Travis Jones. Travis. 0 for 1 after a Jones. pop out in foul territory his first time through. Grounded back up the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Now batting the right field. Into the box now, Sully Matias. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The 2 2. Three balls. Good two spot strikes. for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Next to dig in, Nick Lofton tripled and later scored first time around. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. A one-two pitch. Two two. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Forrest Wall. Well, Maybe too much break two on the slide. Strike. Two and one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early two feel ball. for his two off speed strike. stuff. Ball even at two and two. Rounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Here it comes. Oh. It'd be great right here if okay. he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Into the corner and slicing foul. Next three two is a call third strike down in the zone. Next up is Riquelvin De Castro. He collected a base hit his first time up. The one two on the ground to third. He's right there, and there are two away now. Digging in will be Orelvis Martinez. Oh for one for him here in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out.
Hit in the air to straightaway center. Blanco is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. All set for the start of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, Nate Esposito. Into right field, that's a base hit. Now back, left field, Anderson. In now, Miller. Anderson Miller. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. The runner at first with no outs here. Hit on the ground toward the left. Reined in to second for one. On to first, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Gabriel Cancel. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That strike two. Two out, nobody on. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take it deep. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. Now it'll be Nash Knight looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Nash Knight is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Next up, Desan Brown. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. This pitch is popped up. Esposito moving to his left, and he makes the catch for the second out. Stepping in next, Rodrigo Vigil. Flyed out in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Count is 1 and 2 now. Set now the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to second for He's the force out, and the side is retired. You're Nick Frasso, the 6 5 right hander, takes over on the mound. Number 26. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Dyron Blanco. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And that one yanked just foul. Here now the 2 2. Hit out towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Next, it'll be Angelo Castellano struck out in his last trip to the plate. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. 
Base is empty, two away, and that'll bring up Bobby Witt Jr. Hey, man, interesting story on Bobby Witt Jr. I had a chance to come up in the minor leagues when his dad was with the Texas Rangers. I was a hard thrower, man. Bobby Witt Jr.'s father, Bobby, might have been the hardest thrower I ever saw in the minor leagues. The count now at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. A shot down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Leading off the inning, it'll be number 30, and they could use a spark from him here. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Hey. Two and two. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Hit back up the middle. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. The batter, double six. Second baseman, Esteban. Standing in now, Esteban Machado. No contact there, and it's one and two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Miller will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Stepping up is Forrest Wall. He went down no looking in his last trip to the plate. Runner at first here, one man out. That's ball two three. balls and a strike. Count is two and one. He's oh. falling behind now, three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. No, he's not dive, but he's back. Three and one, here it is. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Now the payoff pitch home. Left side, but well fouled. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he corner. takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Not shortstop. First and second now, one man out. High in the air out to center field. Blanco is there now, and he has it, two gone. At the plate now is Orelvis Martinez. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. The set and the 1-1. One -one. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and make him some good pitches. And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Now to bat, Travis Jones popped out and singled in his two trips to the plate. Here comes the one-two. He's looked at for ball number two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. Full count now. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now to the plate, Sully Matias comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 
one one home is taken for Good ball one. two one out nobody on curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front guess who tipped their hand they were sitting all over a piece of cheese he flew open on the front side two two pitches fouled away into the windup and the pitch two two pitches a fastball high so it runs full three and two down the right field line that's a fair ball he takes the turn and heads for second and he's in there easily at second with a one out double the bat designated so now to the plate, Nick Lofton. Fastball well outside. Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that's taken in near the line as the runner tags from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Into the box, Nate Esposito, runner in scoring position with two gone. The set and the 1 1. And then on third with two down. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Now at the plate, Nash Knight. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AV. Uh, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. To third. Fielded cleanly. And there's one away. So next to hit is Will Robertson. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Belted out toward deep center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So now next to bat will be Desan Brown. No That's hits off. to this point. Wow. Three two pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next it'll be the outfielder, Anderson Miller. A 1 1. Is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Two balls and two strikes now. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now batting the second baseman, Gabriel Cancel. Ground ball right side. Oh, beautiful dive. Touche, yeah. sir. The batter, the center fielder, Jairon Belongo. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Dyron Blanco, he grounded out last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Taken, right. strike two. And oh. that's going to be oh. high two and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And okay. it's up to a three, two full count now. 
when you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Alec Marsh gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 48. Alec. And now Rodrigo Vigil, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater middle cut right there in a fastball count. He's going to have to turn it up a notch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Oh, Number 30. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. 2 1 pitch is a sinker swung on and missed. 2 and 2. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Throw so gets him, two down. Ready now is Esteban Machado. He's pulled for two thus far in this one. The 1-1. Grounded back up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Now batting, left fielder. So they'll go to the Four. bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here Four. to face the upcoming left-handed batter. At the plate now, Forrest Wall. One ball. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Anthony Castro has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 63. Stepping in once again is Angelo Castigano. He went down on strikes last time up. This is foul right side. Here comes the one two. Misses for the second ball. And he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. Another full count pitch home. Down the first baseline. Reined in. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. That'll bring in Bobby Witt Jr. And he's over in this one, batting out of a three spot. Here now the 2 2. One out, nobody on. Mine to the right side. But taking in over at first for the second out is that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Travis Jones. He's working on a one for three thus far. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Now batting. Right Next to hit, Sully Matias. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning.
bottom of inning number eight set to go. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Rekelvin DeCastro. The 1-1. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Skied into very shallow right. Matias is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number one. Next, here is Oreldis Martinez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. And the slider gets him swinging two gone. Grant Gavin enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Nash Knight will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. One and two, here it comes. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Ryan Baker enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and striding forward the designated hitter Nick Lofton. The one two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now with the plate is Nate Esposito. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Count even at two and two. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Oh, he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second now out. The left so now to the plate, Anderson, Anderson Miller. He struck Miller. out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Nope. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. Carlos Sanabria takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 57, Carlos. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Will Robertson. He flew out in his last AB. Here's the one and one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. Little flare out to left. And it's a base hit. And just like that, the potential time run is aboard here to start the home half of the night. But fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. To the plate now, Deson Brown. And the count will be full. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. He'll try again. One, two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that's going to fall for a base hit. The tying run is into score from second. It's one to one. 
Ronald Bolaños comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Stepping in now, number 30. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. New Hampshire came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Brian Baker is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Fisher Cats, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Naturals, one run on six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.